The sun is shining over Bikini Bottom as Patrick Starr embarks on his leisurely stroll towards the Krusty Krab. With each step, he takes in the beauty of his underwater surroundings, the gentle sway of seaweed, and the serene dance of colorful coral reefs. As he walks, his mind drifts to thoughts of his best friend, SpongeBob SquarePants, and the adventures they've shared. As Patrick walks, memories of their adventures flash through his mind, jellyfishing in jellyfish fields, attending the Fry Cook games, and even the time they accidentally became superheroes. Each memory brings a smile to Patrick's face, reinforcing the bond he shares with SpongeBob. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Who's best friends with SpongeBob? That's me, Patrick Star. Pink and star shaped and lovably dim. Patrick Star. If undersea adventures are what we seek, Patrick Star. Then walk with a friend and let's take a peek. Patrick Star. Let's go. Patrick Star. Patrick Star. Patrick Star. Yep, I will finally see SpongeBob after he finishes his job. I haven't seen SpongeBob all day, and it's almost lights out. I wonder how his day was. And I also need to tell him about the mystery guy who was at SpongeBob's house. Hmm. Who were these two? Were these SpongeBob's friends? I have never seen them before. They look like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Oh my god. But Rick, we you, you little pervert. <laughs> Hi there, SpongeBob. Hey, Patrick. How was work today? Work was busy, but it's always fun when you show up. But how was your day, Patrick? Well, SpongeBob, I've been having the time of my life today. I stayed at home all day, practicing my amazing skill of breathing. Yep, I'm getting really good at it. Wow, that sounds awesome, Patrick. By the way, SpongeBob, I couldn't help but wonder about those two mysterious guys you were with earlier. Who were they? And why were they giving you a red balloon? Did they need help blowing it up? I'm not entirely sure, Patrick. The little one with the big head was kind of weird, and the balloon was already blown up. So it wasn't for me to inflate. It's a real heat scratcher. But hey, I got a cool red balloon out of it. How about we head home together, SpongeBob? We can enjoy a nice walk. And you can tell me more about those mysteries, guys. Plus, we'll make sure that balloon doesn't float away. That sounds like a great idea, Patrick. Let's go home together, and maybe we see Squidward also somewhere. He had left earlier today. It's really said he never waits for me. You know, Spongebob, I didn't see Squidward on my way here. Maybe he decided to take a other route for home today. Or perhaps he's hiding from us again. Oh, come on, Patrick. Squidward wouldn't do that. Maybe you just blinked at the exact moment he was walking by and you missed him. <gasps> I see. You might be onto something there, Spongebob. I remember one time I blinked and then I forgot to unblink. By the time I realized it, I was in Squidward's bathroom, and he wasn't too thrilled to see me there. Oh, that day. I remember now. Squidward was so surprised to see you in his bathroom that he tossed you Patrick out of the window, and you somehow landed right at my front door. Classic Squidward. Wait, what were we talking about again? Oh well, let's go on Spongebob. By the way, are you holding the balloon correctly? It looks like it's plotting an upward escape. And we all know we can't swim underwater to follow it. Don't worry, Patrick. That's how balloons behave. They always stay upwards, they never fall. It's like they have a one-way ticket to the sky. Really? Balloons are like magical floaty things? They never fall down. Oh, balloons are so much smarter than rocks. That's right, Patrick. Balloons are like the geniuses of the underwater world, defying gravity and floating away to explore the skies. But don't worry, we we'll keep a close eye on this one so it doesn't escape us. You're right, SpongeBob. We can't let this little genius get away.
It's balloon watching time. Oh, look! Right in front of us at the bus station. It's Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Oh, that's strange. SpongeBob, Freddy didn't even greet you back. Oh, Patrick, that's my old school friend, Freddy. We were best friends back in school, but he never really talked back then either. He was always a bit quiet. Yeah, that's how I remember Freddy. He was always the quiet one. I really should visit him one day. It's been ages since we caught up. <gasps> I see. That's true friendship. I wish I had a friend like Freddy in my school. Or I wish I was at school. Here we are now, Patrick. On our sweet, sweet, lovely home. Kong Street. So, as our friends bid adieu to another day in Bikini Bottom, who knows what's going to happen next to our friends? Will they embark on another wild adventure or perhaps enjoy a peaceful day under the sea? Stay tuned to Conch Street Stories for more future episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to catch all the underwater excitement. Remember, as SpongeBob always says, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever comes our way. With that, I say goodbye till next time.